Whoa, I'm setting fire to that towel. Look at this. Whoa, fire, fire, fire! Hi, I'm Tom Beers, creator and executive producer of Deadliest Catch. And I'm gonna make uh, my favorite Bering Sea meal for you today. Uh, it's uh, crab macaroni and cheese with crab coming straight from the Bering Sea. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know if any of you are very familiar with what it's really like to be on a crab boat in the Bering Sea in the middle of December and January, but you're talking about 20 degree weather, icy deck, bouncing, falling, even standing up in a toilet in a rough seas. You put your head against the wall just to pee. You know, so this is a brutal, brutal place. And so what we would do is we come up with the greatest comfort foods in the world because it was so miserable up there. And to me, a little bit of home is mac and cheese. I want to show you something. I went to the supermarket. That was their crab. And this is mine. <laughs> So I'm just saying I think we're a lot better off with Alaskan king crab than we are with the local Opelio snow crab. This is fresh caught crab. It's perfect and it's pristine. So let's get started. I always like to work with great big elbow macaroni. They're, they're you know, pretty well done. So these are about ready to go. What I need to do first and foremost is I gotta start sauteing. Drop in about a quarter stick of butter. These are my, uh, these are just my kitchen crab. They're not real crab. It's just I thought they were so attractive. I keep them around until they start smelling up the house. It gets a little brutal. So. I'll tell you a funny story while we're heating the butter. The first time I got on a crab boat, I worked for 36 straight hours um, on the deck, basically crabbing, shooting, crabbing, and shooting. But after about two or three days of that, your hands, the cold, they get a thing called the claw, and you're actually, your fingers start to curl up. I remember after about three days, you know, the skipper saying to me, you know, Tom, there's, um, there's two ways to get rid of that. One is uh, you can take some pills, some medication. The other way to do it, he says, it's, it's uric acid. I'm gonna stick the onions in here. We'll start sauteing. Onion. Uric acid basically is urine. All right, so I'm like, oh, that's great, but where do you get uric acid from? Well, clearly, best place to get uric acid, he said, is from your penis. Then I'll throw in the mushrooms. These are about eight. Uh, large button brown mushrooms I like, and that was a small Vidalia onion. Um, so I go to the deck and I'm peeing in my hands, and all of a sudden I look up and I hear these guys laughing. And the entire crew standing up in the wheelhouse, laughing their asses off at me and taking pictures because what an idiot I am, standing out on the deck of a ship, peeing on my hands. It wasn't a cure, it was just them making fun of me. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some um, freshly cracked pepper, liberal with cracked pepper. I think macaroni and cheese deserves a lot of cracked pepper. Okay, now while that's cooking, my Mac's ready, good to go. I'm gonna turn the Mac off because I don't wanna get it too soft. Now, this comes the flavoring part. I'm a big fan of uh, chicken consomme. So um, I'm gonna use just about three tablespoons of this. Next, I'm a huge fan of liquid smoke. This is hickory. I'll use about a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons of liquid smoke. Uh, the next step that I'm going to do is it's time to basically dump the pasta and I think at this point let's just start cooking this crab. This again is Alaskan king crab caught from the Northwestern and you just drop it in. We need to strain this pasta. It's really important to throw the cheese in when the pasta is hot. So work with, this is about a pound of cheddar and I got about a quarter a pound of Swiss. So and then a little kicker of Parmesan. Again, I like to put pepper directly into the mac and cheese. And Parmesan acts to me like salt anyway, so you don't really have to salt this as much as work with Parmesan. So now it's all ooey and gooey and stuff and this is good. Now I'll throw a little bit of just a touch of heavy cream into that. I'm going to dump that mushroom and onion mix right into this and give it, ooh, that's smelling good. Ah, you know, that's the smoke hitting with that cheese and hitting that, oh, oh this is good. Look at that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's nice, isn't it? 
about 7,000 calories a bowl. Okay, what we're doing here is again, we're just heating that crab. We don't need it to cook because it's already been cooked. We're basically trying to unfreeze it and make it cool. Now lemon, oh, is really important when you're working with um, seafood. We're gonna pull this out now. Here we go. Arr, arr, arr. Uh, and it's time basically to take the crab and to shell this crab. So, see those? Those are tendons. So we try to get, you know, get rid of those because they're just not even fun to eat. So we're just gonna work with this part of the crab today. And the knuckle, as they say, which is the bottom half. Now, it's a lot better to work when you're working with crab, when you're cutting crab, with a serrated edge. So if you have a bread knife, any type of serrated knife whatsoever, it's a lot easier to cut through this crab. If you do this right, it's like a great big crab hot dog. Yo! Look at that. That's just a beautiful piece of meat. So I'm gonna cut that up into about half inch pieces. So all you need is just basically one or two big legs. This is just to get for four people. So basically you're just gonna stir that up and then you're gonna put it in a baking dish. Arg, arg, arg. Here it is. A little messy, but it's in the dish. Last thing I'm gonna do before I throw that in the oven is again, do some grated Parmesan over the top. And for color and contrast, I really love working with these little buggers. What are they called? They're all whispering. What? Chives. What are they? Chives. Chives. That's it, that's the dish. It's the comfort dish. We're gonna go in the oven with this at about 350 uh, for about a half an hour. And then we'll eat it. Ta-da! Look, all done. Crispy on top, brown, sweet. It smells fantastic. Let's eat. <laughs> I'm gonna get me a manly fork for this. And I'm gonna go outside of the deck and eat a little of this. So, um, geez, I wish you could join me, but. <laughs> oh. Thanks for watching my how to. For the rest of, for the rest of me, Click on the link below. <laughs>